Hey guys, it's the girl Rashida. I'm back again with another episode from Miss Goody's Kitchen. So today we're making jerk chicken. Jamaican jerk chicken. Um, that's an inside joke with myself, by the way. It's this guy who makes videos and he repeats everything like twice. I don't know why. But the first thing you're gonna need is chicken because you're making jerk chicken. So my chicken. I actually already cleaned it. Um, I recommend cutting off like some of the excess fat, but you wanna leave the skin on because it makes the chicken just taste better. Like if you're like on like a health kick or whatever, by all means remove it, it's still gonna be delicious. But if you don't mind that skin, the skin, especially when you like barbecue it on the grill, it's like delicious. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to make jerk chicken, but in the oven, so. If you don't have a grill at home, you can make it in the oven if you're really, really in the mood for a jerk chicken. So for this recipe, you're gonna need my jerk marinade recipe, which I'll put a link to it in this video so that you could go see how to make the marinade that I'm gonna use in this recipe for jerk chicken. So what I'm going to add is, I have a cup here with a little bit of like my own home seasoning. So whatever you usually use to season your chicken, use it because we're using a marinade, yes, but the chicken itself needs to be seasoned because you really want there to be levels and levels and levels of flavor. If you're just using like a, bl a plain piece of chicken and then you're gonna put marinade in it, it will still be good, but I recommend personally seasoning your chicken as well. So I have some garlic powder that I'm gonna add. I have a little bit of onion powder and this is just one piece of chicken so I'm not gonna go crazy and then I have some smoked paprika smoked pap paprika um actually saved my life not literally but like I love it I literally use it in everything because it adds like a smoky flavor so especially for something like jerk chicken when you want like some smoke kick to it it's really really good so and then I added some black pepper I'm not gonna add any salt because I feel like you don't need it. You're putting in so many different seasonings. Learn how to cook without salt. You don't need to put salt in everything because while you're young, it's so cool. When you get older, you're gonna pay for it. So I'm gonna add that to my chicken, just like that. And when you're making it, and you're making it with multiple, um, excuse me, with multiple um, portions of chicken, Make sure that like it's enough seasoning to coat all the chicken, right? And then you're going to add some gravy master. I love gravy master with anything that's like roasted, especially like when I make like turkey for Thanksgiving. That's really like one of the secret things that takes it to the next level. So then I'm also gonna add like some traditional jerk seasoning. This is not a marinade, it's a jerk seasoning. So you wanna add this in addition to the marinade. So how I usually do it, like if I'm making like a roasted chicken, if I'm making like turkey, like um, jerk turkey, what I'll do is I'll season the, ch the chicken itself with my marinade. I'll season that like two days before the day that I'm gonna make it. Then, the day before I make it, I add the jerk seasoning. So it's just sitting in the fridge, just marinating, 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 okay? So now, I'm gonna put on a glove because I just don't have time for all this spicy stuff getting into my nails and all of that. And I'm just gonna show you how you wanna be massaging the chicken, just massage it. So you see like already, you have all the different components. We have the dry seasoning, we have the jerk seasoning, we have the jerk marinade, all that stuff on this chicken. And imagine if you leave it in the fridge for like two days. By the time you're ready to eat it, it's gonna be so tender from all the herbs that's in the jerk marinade and all the flavors that you add into it, it's gonna be delicious. So. That's how you season it. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge, and I actually have 
some chicken that I already had seasoned prior to this and we're gonna take that and put that in the oven, okay? So here you have it, I have the chicken, it's marinated. Um, I sprayed my pan, my cooking pan or cooking sheet, whatever you have, I sprayed it with a little bit of um, canola oil, like a little bit of like cooking spray. So whatever you have, just use that. And then one thing you have to know that's really important, whenever you are roasted like chicken thighs, like chicken legs, well not chicken legs because there's skin all over it, but like chicken thighs, make sure you put the chicken down, skin down because that is what makes it crisp first and you have to get the inside of the chicken to cook first. That's something else I learned in culinary school. So make sure whenever you're roasting chicken, put anything in the oven that you put it skin down, okay? All right, so now we're gonna take this chicken, we're gonna put it in the oven for 45 plus minutes. But halfway through, you're gonna flip it, okay? All right, guys, so now we're going to check on the chicken. 45 minutes have passed. So remember I told you guys that I started skin side down and then I went ahead halfway through and I flipped the chicken. And you can see that it's like really, really golden brown. Like you really, really want it to be like as like cooked as possible like if you feel like the top of it is not really like golden brown it looks a little bit of white you really want to leave the chicken in there a little bit longer okay so the chicken is perfectly cooked um now i'm just going to cut it in half you see that perfect and i'm just going to plate it and then i also i made some jerk sauce on the side what i did was i took my favorite barbecue sauce I added some of my jerk marinade and I added the jerk seasoning to that. And then I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of parsley, like so. And it's so tender. And this is my famous jerk chicken with the jerk sauce. It's so good. I wanna try this chicken because remember, we have it, we had it marinated for two days now. So I've been waiting for this chicken for two days and now it's time for me to try it. So I'm like super excited. All right, let's, I'm gonna take some of my jerk sauce that I told you guys that I made on the side. I just took my favorite barbecue sauce, some of my jerk marinade and some of the jerk seasoning and I just mix that together. And if you wanna add a little bit of ketchup, you can. So let's see. It's tender, it's juicy, it's spicy, it's everything all into one. It really, really reminds me of my childhood of when my dad used to be on the side of the house grilling. And this is the jerk chicken that he used to just give out to everyone in the neighborhood and it's so good. So I'm so happy that I was able to share my family's recipe of jerk chicken with you all. And I want you guys to tell me how you liked it. Like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy your jerk chicken, because I definitely am. Bye, guys.